Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Silva, trainer here at Pragmatic Works, and welcome back into one of our another YouTube videos. Today we are going to look at an amazing tool that it lives in both the Power Query uh, editor in Excel and the Power Query editor in Power BI called Unpivot. Now, one of the great things about Unpivot is it allows us to do a lot of these transforms that we want to use all the time when we have we work with you know, some of that cross tab formatting that exists in a lot of workbooks or end reports that get presented to us that we want to transition back into something we can go ahead and build pivot tables and pivot charts on. So in order to go ahead and take a look at how we can use this amazing tool, let's jump right into a workbook in Excel and into the Power Query Editor to see exactly how we can do it. So here we have a worksheet that's showing some data about the body mass index of a all our countries here across different years. And it's just an average of the BMI for each of those countries for say 1980 all the way to, I believe 2008. And the way that this data is formatted in this cross tab format is actually nice and easy to, for us to look at as like an end report. But the problem is what if I wanted to see all of the data for say Algeria across every single year and be able to do an average for all of Algeria's body mass index over time. Now, because of the way the data is stored in this separate column format, that becomes quite difficult to do. It's something that's just simply not easy for us to go ahead and analyze. So prior to this, we could have used, you know, our transpose function. We could have tried to turn our columns into rows and our rows into columns and try to go ahead and uh, formulate our data in that way. But now we have this amazing tool that lives inside the Power Query Editor called Unpivot. Now for us to do that, we just go ahead and open up the Power Query Editor, which I'm pulling from off screen here. And we can see that we have our data all set up as we saw before. Now, one of the first things we want to do before we go ahead and do our Unpivot is we want to make sure the Power Query Editor knows that this first row here is, ex is actually the column headers that we want to use. So we're just going to go ahead and use the first row as headers option at the top, bump those up to our header row. And so now we are ready for our unpivot option. Now, so the way we want to see this is we want to make sure we keep our country as an individual column here. And then what we want is a next column right after it, not just to have 1980, but to have every single one of the years that we have within our data set here. And then after that, we want another column here to display not 1981, but all of the body mass index that goes across each country for that specific year. So using the, the unpivot option, we can go ahead and take all of these other values and take all the column headers and make our years column, which will come in as our attribute column when we first do it. And then take all of the data, which is our body mass index, create a second column, which will come in as the value column as we do our unpivot. So there's a couple options that we can do when we, try, when we want to do this unpivot. We can go ahead and do a control select of all the columns we want to go ahead and change here into this unpivot and select all the way through. Now, this takes a little while as you try to select all these columns through and slide across, which is not necessarily a method that I like to use because simply it just takes too long. Okay, another option here is if we select our country here and just do control all, when we go through all of these here, we can try to, again, select them all through. The really good option and the fastest way we can do this is if we go to the, the columns that we want to keep in their vertical format the way they are, and we do a right click on them, we can come all the way down to the bottom here. And instead of choosing to unpivot this column, what we can choose is to unpivot the other columns. Now, when I choose to unpivot the other columns, it keeps the highlighted country, uh, column the way it is, the country column in this case and goes ahead and does that unpivot for everything else. So when I select that, notice how quickly we've moved from having each country listed row by row here, to now in this unpivot, we can see we're matching up all of Afghanistan as the first country in our data set here, going from 1980 all the way through our data set to 2008. 
And then once it completes Afghanistan, it just jumps down to Albania. And we'll do this exact same thing for each of our countries within our data set as it moves to Algeria and then goes all the way into Andorra, all the way through every single country. And you can see that what's also been included in this is as we have our year, we then also brought in our body mass index along with it. So it makes everything nice and easy for us if we want to do any filtering, if we want to focus on a specific uh, year, if we want to focus on a specific country, we can do all of that because of this amazing unpivot option that we've just gone ahead and used. So the last step before we're ready to go and move our, um, our data here into a format that we can go ahead and build a pivot table or pivot chart on is to rename these columns. So our attribute column, I'm gonna go ahead and rename that to year. Our value column, I can go ahead and rename to BMI for body mass index. And so now again, if we want to filter out only by one specific year, we can do that as well. If we want to go ahead and build out a pivot table or pivot chart focusing on an average for one specific country or a, an average for a region as we can add into our data set, we can do all of that because of this amazing control that we have over our data using Unpivot. Well, thank you for joining me today. And I really hope you can use this tool for your own reports in the future. It really helps you out, not just in building out your reports, but simply saving time in doing so. And so if you could just go ahead and drop a like down below, you'd leave a comment. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And also don't forget to subscribe so you can get more content, not just from myself, but from all the trainers here at Pragmatic Works as we try to help you in your foundational skills to build out your reports in the future.